Sometimes the wilderness, however that may look like to you, is the will of God for you. You don't believe me? Let me read you a scripture in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 2. It says, Remember how the Lord your God led you all the way in the wilderness <laughs> these 40 years to do what? To humble and test you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commands. The promise of God, you know, was already there, the promised land for the children of Israel. And the Lord was taking them, but first yet to, to lead them into the wilderness, to test them. Because he's not just going to risk the promise just like that. He, he wants to know, are these people going to keep my commandments when they get into the promised land? It is the same with us. Every one of us gets to go through some type of wilderness. And however that looks to you, it could be, it could be a child, it could be a job, it could be whatever wilderness that you're going through. And I remember this scripture in the book of Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3. Remember, the Lord is testing us. So in the same way that gold and silver are refined by fire, the Lord purifies your heart by the test and trials of life. So when you're going through these trials, when you're, going, you're passing through these tests, the Lord is purifying your heart. Why is it important for gold to be taken through fire? I was searching it up and this is what came up. Fire is a way to test gold, and when all the impurities are burned away, what's left is 24 karat gold, which is considered very valuable indeed, and it is expensive as well. So the Lord not only ma uh, not only cares for you um, to receive your promise, but he also wants character. He also wants you to be a person of value. He also wants to give you value. So when he's taking us through this test, it is to purify us. It is to humble us, to keep us in check. And he also wants to know if this person receives the answer to their prayer, if this person receives their promise that I have made to them, are they still going to serve me? Are they still going to keep my commandment? Or they will get it and run off and forget me as quickly. So instead of fasting 21 days, praying from 3 to 5 a.m. for the Lord to take away the wilderness. Instead, have this approach. Ask the Lord, what are you teaching me? What am I supposed to learn? Because unless you learn what the Lord is teaching you, and unless you pass the test, you remain in that wilderness for a long time. And you will think that the Lord does not hear your prayers. I'm not speaking of something that I do not know. I do not preach a God that I do not know. I know this to be true because I myself, has passed through it and each and every one of us out here is going through a, a type of wilderness and unless you learn the lord is testing you are you going to pass the test or are you would you rather grumble through and the more you grumble the more you're going to remain in this wilderness remember the children of israel will grumble at every chance that they got mm -hmm. and for 40 years they remained in the wilderness. And even the people that had left Egypt, only those that were 20 years and below, got to get into the promised land. What is the Lord teaching you in that wilderness? Don't waste your time and your energy praying the wilderness away.